Okay, so in this video we're going to be talking about prime factors. And in a fairly typical exam question, there'll be something along the lines of express the number 108 as a product of its prime factors. And the two things you need to know is what we mean by factors and what we mean by prime. Okay, well factors are all the numbers that will divide into 108 neatly without leaving anything. So a typical factor of 108 would be, say, 2 or um, 54. Because I can divide 2 into 108, I can divide 54 into 108. So that's what we mean by factors. By prime numbers or prime factors, a prime number is a number that is only divisible by itself and 1. So, 2 is one of them. Okay, so if you're asked to express 108 as a product of its prime factors, generally the way that we do it is to use something called a factor tree, where basically we express that number as multiplications all the way down a little diagram, a little tree diagram. So we start with 108 at the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those two numbers there. And I'm going to say 108 is exactly the same as 2 times 54. And as we've already said, 2 is a prime factor. So what we can do is I can circle that to say that there is no other number that will go into 2 apart from 1 and itself. However, the case is that's not true for the number 54. Because with 54, I could say that that's 6 times 9. So 54 is not a prime number or a prime factor. Nor is 6, nor is 9, because with 6, I can multiply 2 times 3. And both of those are prime numbers, numbers that are only divisible by themselves and 1. 9 can be multiplied as 3 times 3. So I'm in a situation now that for the number 108, I've worked out that 2, 2, 3, 3, and 3 are all the prime factors of 108. So where the question says express 108 as a function of its prime factors, what they mean is they want you to write 108 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. And that's the answer to the question. So, uh, let's say, we'll just very briefly do another quick question. So let's say the number 24. And I'm just going to do it at the side here. 24 as a factor tree would be, say, 2 and 12. We know that 2 is okay, 12 isn't. Uh, 12, however, could be, say, 3 and 4. 3 is okay, 4 isn't. It could also be 2 and 6 if you wanted, because with 4, I could have 2 times 2. And if you think about it, that's, if I'd have done that as 12 and 2 and 6, I still would have ended up with the same factors. 3, 2 and 2. 3, 2 and 2. So it doesn't matter really which way you work it, and I don't want to confuse you at all, but as you put through the different numbers, you will at the end of it come out with all the prime factors of the number 24, of the number 108, or any other number that you choose. I hope that's okay for you, and that's prime factors. If you look at one of the next videos, that's going to tell you how we use those prime factors to work out highest common factor and lowest common multiple.